Okay, but first we need a little background, and, and this is going to be a little bit of a review for people who were in the, the Lunch and Learn session earlier, but drive cycles. So what is a drive cycle? A drive cycle is a series of speeds versus time um, that replicate real-world driving conditions. So in this US06, we can see an acceleration, deceleration, hold, acceleration, deceleration, stop, acceleration, you know, maybe a highway, and then some start stops. So this is really what's a real world scenario the vehicle might go through. And there's lots of these drive cycles. They're there for heavy test or for heavy truck. They're there for city. They're there for highway. You know, LA 92 is a, is a highway pattern where we can see, you know, we're just holding speed and kind of maybe following somebody on the interstate. So it's really simple. It's a series of, of um, speeds versus time under simulated road conditions. We're going to be looking for city and highway mileage. There's going to be a torque profile that's simulating road conditions and vehicle drag. So we're, we're really looking at how will this vehicle perform in a controlled scenario? How can we run these drive cycles and compare one vehicle to another as real as possible? And you know, there, there's going to be a driver that, that's actuating the pedal to match these speeds. OK, so now we know what a drive cycle is. It's just a series of speeds versus time to replicate real world scenarios. Now, now we can kind of dig into the meat of, of what we're here to talk about. Um, and, and when we're running these drive cycle tests, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to be measuring battery current, battery voltage, oh, there's teen current. And, you know, we can see that battery voltage, that battery current is kind of pulsing. This is an acceleration, a hold, start, stop, start, stop. We're going to be calculating the power. So this is the, the DC power used by that battery. But what we're really after is energy. How much energy did that vehicle consume during these various points? And we're going to look at that summation of the energy over time. And we can see we accelerate, we get a large change in energy. Um, this is really what we're looking at to understand. So this is a little background for what we're going to discuss now. We're measuring voltage, current, power, energy. We want to understand how to make this number as small as possible. Cool. 